Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, well, we got a new project today, and this is kind of an interesting one. I'm going to have fun with this one. Uh, this guy calls me the other day, uh, actually from Salvation Army, which is quite interesting. And they've got a golf cart that's been broken down for, oh, I don't know, a while. Look at that. Uh, this thing is pretty rusty. So I'm guessing it's been down for months and months, uh, certainly through the winter. And anyhow, the axle broke. And you can see that it goes, supposed to go like that, right? It snapped. And then they had it welded and then snapped again. It wasn't a real good weld. Uh, and I says, well, I can just weld it again. And he says, well, no, it's, it's been a problem. So we're going to have you just make a whole new one. And uh, so we're looking at the axle here. And I scoped that out just to make sure that I could do it. And yet I can because... Uh, the the uh, spline is uh, a 60 degree 60 degree groove and I happen to have a 60 degree cutter so no problem there I looked at this part and of course it's it's gonna be just fine and uh, but I didn't want the axle to to break again so I wasn't gonna just you know weld it together and and machine it down what I wanted to do what I think I want to do and I'm still working on this is we're going to take uh, the uh, the uh, hub plate and we're going to make it a little bit thicker and there's plenty of clearance to do that so I'm going to add a good quarter inch maybe even three-eighths of an inch out here to uh, to this thickness here and then I'm going to take the new shaft right there machine it down until it pierces all the way through to this side and then uh, I, and I haven't checked to see if there's clearance but uh, there was clearance on all of this I just have to figure out the the wheel hub and how much clearance is here but I, what I want to do is come all the way through and put a nut on this on the end of here and then come back in here and drill out well actually I have to drill it for, out from this end drill out uh, the contact between the two the, between the hub and the shaft and then slide a pin and, and ream it and then slide a pin in there so there's no way it can travel and then tighten the nut, nut up on it. So that's uh, the general idea. First thing we're going to do, and this is all in 4140, first thing we're going to do is uh, take our piece of <coughs> our piece of 4140 and start turning it down. Okay you got the plan now we execute it Okay, you may or may not be able to see it, but I've got my shield in place here um, to keep the moisture or the liquid from splattering all over the place. <laughs>
Mark. Okay. okay, so this is old school here, but uh, I'm bringing down my shield so that uh, the uh, water doesn't spray everywhere. And when I bought the shield, I, I realized that back here, I didn't. Uh, it didn't have any protection. It would just spray all over the wall. So uh, I put these uh, these little slats in there and uh, and up front too. You can see them there. So uh, after that disaster, let's go ahead and get back to cutting. And we're not going to try to take a full. hundred thousandths at a time. We're going to take 50. Nice conservative 50. And I probably chipped the hell out of my I can hear it just, yeah, it chipped the hell out of it. All right, ready, place the insert. Or turn it around if I have any corners left. Well, I got one or two.
Okay, we got uh, the taper somewhat complete. Time to uh, go in and and uh, let me go get a putty knife. Okay, now time to go and take some measurements, make sure that we're not, uh, yeah, it's just about right. Now our hub measurement is right there, and that's just about right. All right, we're in good shape. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit more, get a little bit going, more going before I get a radius tool in there. Okay, I think we've got our shaft size and really none of these measurements really matter. Maybe from here to here matters within maybe 40 thousandths or so. Uh, all of this is clearance uh, measurements. So uh, we've got that. We want to make sure that we're here. Yep, well, that's good. So let's go back in and and continue to create um, that radius. Okay, we want to make sure that uh, this surface and this edge are about the same, as I said, 30, 40 thousandths is no big deal. So what we're going to do, let's see here, you really can't see what I'm doing, I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to slow this thing way down and come in and cut our radius.
Okay, now we need a seat. I think it's a seat for the bolts, but I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we need to create that seat. And that seat is somewhere in that general area. Okay. What? The top? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. I was just sitting there hanging out with the chickens looking around. I'll stop bugging you. No, I could use help. I could use help getting it set up and square. Yeah. 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 